In this video, we will learn about AA similarity. First, let's review what it means for two shapes to be similar. The basic idea is two shapes are similar if they're the same shape, but not necessarily the same size. This means all of the two shapes corresponding angles will be congruent and all of their corresponding sides will be proportional. If you want to show that two triangles are similar, one way to do that is to verify that all pairs of angles are congruent and all pairs of sides are proportional. So for example, if you had these two triangles, you could say that they were similar because all the pairs of angles match. So 80 is congruent to 80, 60 is congruent to 60, 40 is congruent to 40. And if you look at all the pairs of corresponding sides, 1 and 3, 3 and 9, and 2 and 6, you'll notice that in the bigger triangle, the sides are always three times as big as their corresponding side in the smaller triangle. So the corresponding sides are proportional and the scale factor is three. Now it can be a lot of work to check all the sides and all the angles to show that two triangles are similar. So there's a couple shortcuts and one of them is the AA similarity shortcut. So what that means is if two pairs of angles are congruent, then the triangles are similar. So with two triangles, you don't have to necessarily check all the angles and all the sides. If just two pairs of angles are congruent, that means that the triangles will be similar. So for example, if we had these two triangles and all we know is that this angle is 85 degrees in each triangle and this angle over here is 40 degrees, then these two triangles must be similar by AA similarity. And the way you would write that is if you have your triangles labeled, you would say triangle ABC is similar, that's the symbol for similar, to triangle DEF by AA similarity. Now AA stands for angle angle, and that's how it works, that you look for two pairs of angles being congruent. Now you might wonder, why don't we need the third angle? Well, remember the third angle theorem says that if two angles are two pairs of angles are already congruent that means that the third pair of angles must also be congruent because of the triangle sum theorem so we could figure out this third angle by doing 180 minus 85 minus 40 and get what that angle has to be and it would be the same thing over here because you'd be doing the same calculation. So if two triangles have two pairs of angles congruent, it means that they must have three pairs of angles congruent, which means that they must be the same shape. And you don't need to know anything about the side lengths because if they're the same shape, then they must be similar. If you want to know the scale factor between the two shapes, you will need to know some information about the relative sizes, and therefore you need to know information about the sides. But if all you need to know is that the shapes are similar, it's enough to know that there are two pairs of congruent angles.